What's up, you guys? This is ShadowWolf810, and I've got a new game for your viewing pleasure. This is Dogfight Battle for the Pacific, and when I say a new game, I mean it's probably new to you, but this game came out about 2003, I think, and uh, I have I loved this game for a long time, and I just got real nostalgic and was inspired to uh, install it on my PC, and go ahead and ask you guys if you wanted to see a let's play on it so I'm gonna show you the tutorial mission right now and uh, if you would like to see it then be sure to leave a comment down below and uh, I will continue my little let's play of it and you guys can watch it and enjoy so I've been having some issues recording this game because it is so old so I'm gonna have to cut right here randomly and then come back in a second but I think it should work so we'll see Okay, and according to my calculations, everything should be working perfectly right now. So, uh, this is the game. Basically, you've got your two different jets, or, well, airplanes, I guess, to choose from. We're going to go ahead and skip the takeoff sequence, though. And uh, my joystick is not on. There we go. And, yeah, so this is the tutorial. This is what the game looks like. It's pretty awesome. You got your uh, your machine guns. This is the bomber, so uh, it doesn't have as powerful of machine guns, but as you can see, we're dropping bombs here. You can watch the bombs fall like that, and it's just, it is one fun little game. So let's get back into this. I'm not used to any of the buttons anymore because I haven't played it in forever. But uh, because this is the tutorial and I know what is going to happen, I know that uh, I'm going to have to bomb some tents over here. So we're going to switch to our bombing view, go ahead and slow down a little bit. And let's see, we're on our bombs, beautiful, and we're going to line it up here and just bomb the ever-living poopy out of these things. And we can watch a couple of them fly down if we so desire. I normally don't do that, but you know, ooh, that was that was precision right there. All right, so we're gonna have to come back around for another run because we uh, we missed one. And by missed, I mean I let that one live a little bit longer than the other one. So um, keep in mind that this is just the tutorial mission, and there's not gonna be a whole lot of excitement. And uh, in later levels of this game, this uh, it gets pretty hectic, and there is all sorts of craziness going down, and it is uh, one heck of a time. So don't judge it based on its action value for the moment. But uh, now we have to blow up the ship. So let's let's go ahead and get out over here, and uh, we'll make a make a little torpedo run. So I'm gonna switch over to my torpedoes. As you can see in the bottom right, you've got my um, like my uh, rockets and bombs and torpedoes, that sort of thing. I don't have any rockets right now because I'm not the fighter. But uh, And then the other side is my uh, score and my health. The 100 is my health. So let's get these torpedoes in the water here. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. I couldn't get the... I, I wasn't sure if I was going to get the last one out. But boom, two torpedoes for the win. We're getting a little bit of lag here. But uh, I don't know why because this game is so easy to run. It, uh, it, it doesn't really like being recorded by new things, I think, is the problem, but uh, as you can see here, in the bottom left, we have a compass, and there is a little green mark at the top of it, which indicates my runway, which happens to be right there. I accidentally just sniped my general in the head with that machine gun bullet, so I apologize for that. It's okay, I can save the world on my own, I don't need people ordering me around. But, alert, alert, we've just received terrible news! The Japanese have attacked! The war has begun! This game is set in, uh, at the beginning of World War II, just for the record. But uh, Now we're going to go ahead and do some landing maneuvers. So you just got to fly through this little ring, going slow, and uh, if you get through all of them, then it will land for you. And there you go, so we're going to skip the landing, switch on over to the fighter, right here, and then we'll skip the takeoff, because we're so pro like that. And because I'm so pro like that, I know that the... <laughs> The Japanese fighter that's about to that's about to come and attack our runway is gonna appear in this general vicinity, but uh, yeah. So alert, alert! A Japanese plane is approaching. Destroy it before it destroys the runway. So this is our uh, our fighter jet, and oh, there it is. I wonder, can we look at the rockets that we shoot? No, nope, apparently not. Okay, I might have to figure that out, but I have like 50 rockets right now, so I don't have to worry about spamming them or, or not spamming them. But uh, as you can see here, oh, I missed. That's that's what you can see right there is that I missed. But it's okay because he will die. He will die. All right, let's get this lined up here. There we go. 
Yeah, get out of the sky, brah. So, guys, that was the tutorial mission. Uh, normally, there's, like, you know, between random missions, you got, like, four or five ships to destroy, or, like, 20 airplanes or whatever. So, let me know if you guys want to see a Let's Play of this. It's something new, something different than your average, you know, Minecraft or Skyrim or whatever. But uh, if you'd like to see it, leave a comment or a like rating. And other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.